Do you remember the old TV show Baywatch or even the newer movie Baywatch? We're about to make a cocktail based on that. My name is David Edwards and welcome to Booze on the Rocks. And technically, this cocktail is called a Baywatch. And when I say Baywatch, I mean B-A-E. But I'd rather have it based on the old TV show because the word Bay means for before anyone else. And it was a stupid word when it was invented and it's still a stupid word now. Anyways, sorry, that's my inside voice telling you exactly what I think about some of the words we use nowadays. Having said that, this is a simple three ingredient cocktail, but before we get into it, let's talk about the spirit that we're going to use. The spirit that we're using today is Captain Morgan's Pineapple Rum. It's 35% ABV and it's produced in the US Virgin Islands. Now I did originally say that this is a three ingredient cocktail, but it was originally built in a glass. However, I am going to shake it because this will give us a more balanced cocktail, especially because I've adjusted the ratios a little bit. Now we're going to start with our Captain Morgan's pineapple rum. You can use whatever pineapple rum that you have or you want, but as a worst case scenario, you could skip the pineapple rum and go for a straight white rum because it'll still work well with all of the uh, pineapple juice and the cranberry juice. And we're going to start with one ounce or 45 mils. You know what else would also work? You could use a coconut rum if you want because it would give you that tropical flavor that you might want. Or you could split the base on a couple of rums. There's a lot that you can do with this. Actually, I need that back. Your next ingredient is pineapple juice. I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice. Now that means that there's no sugar added, there's no extra pulp, any of that wonderful stuff. And we're gonna start with two ounces or 60 milliliters of your pineapple juice. Now that you've added your pineapple juice, what we are going to do is we are going to shake this with a little bit of ice. But you don't need to fill your glass up all of the way. Maybe just about two thirds. Again, depending on the size of the ice you're using and all the other good stuff that goes along with that. So grab your shaker tin, smack it down, make sure you have a good seal, give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand pineapples. And what we'll do is we'll just put this off to the side. Now grab a tall glass. I'm using a Collins glass. It's about 11 ounces uh, empty. And so what you wanna do is just add some pure cubes of ice. And what we're going to do now is throw some ice all over the place. <laughs> Good thing it's your drink at home. Because <laughs> apparently I'm having some issues. Grab yourself cranberry juice. Now I'm using a pure cranberry juice. It's uh, ocean spray, but we only need one ounce. And this is where we're going to create a bit of a sunrise effect. So just one ounce or 30 mils. This already looks absolutely gorgeous. So it's going to look even better. But what we'll do is we'll grab your Hawthorne strainer. I'm not worried about finding straining this and we'll just pour it on top like so. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Grab a straw and we'll just give this a little bit of a stir, just like this, just to sort of combine just enough to give you that gorgeous sunrise look. Now I'm using an extra long straw because I can. Mm. Really good. You get the pineapple, you get the cranberry juice. They're well blended together and the rum is basically not noticeable. This is an easy, easy drink especially for the hot weather. Now, if you like sunrise style drinks, go take a look at this gin sunrise right here, because I know you'll love it. 